So most of the well-known architecture here in Couture uh, is actually from the Venetian period, which I mentioned earlier. After that point, obviously the Venetian period didn't last forever. After that period, it went through a, quite a lot of transition. It was a part of the Kingdom of Serbia, the Kingdom of Bosnia. It's been independent at one stage as well. So if you're, if you're interested in history, this is kind of one of the places where I know it's a bit of a tourist trap these days. As we've come a bit earlier and we've come at a time of year where you might actually be able to get some peace and quiet and see things. If you came in the height of the summer, it would be beautiful weather. You'd get some great views and of the water and whatever else, but you would probably struggle to get much seen. So we came at this time of year so that we could actually hear ourselves think and I might be able to have this conversation. So it's an interesting place. Anyway, I'm going to shut up now, I'm going to show you some bits and bobs, some things that you might find quite interesting, I know I certainly do. Such as the church buildings behind me, if you see the street, it's those very interesting narrow streets that you get, if you know you're in a, you're in a very old place when streets like that exist. Yeah, it's very nice here, very nice, very peaceful as well. It's, Lots of lots of local local Katorians. I don't know if they're called Katorians, but I'm calling them that. People of Kator. Lots of them still just live here in all some of the old buildings. It's not like a it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site, I believe. But if you look around, there's people just living their everyday lives still here the way they have done for thousands of years, which is nice to see. It hasn't been completely taken over by yeah, tourist traffic. An example here of one of the Venetian era churches I mentioned. There it says 1166. So, I do enjoy a wee church, so I might go try and go inside. There's three guys standing out there. I don't know if you need to maybe pay to go in. I can't imagine you need to pay to go into a church, but we'll find out. We'll see what these guys have to say to me though. Can I get in? Am I allowed? Let's find it. Let's have a look about first. See if they say anything to me. Yeah, let's give that a go around. They don't just say anything. They never stood here for a few minutes. Maybe you are allowed inside. Maybe you are. Oh, best to put a, a entrance 3 euro. Ah, okay, let's go to the bank. I'm not paying 3 euros to go into a church. That's not very Christian, I don't think. I've read my Bible, I know what it says. <laughs> and it says, you should not charge the vlogger 3 euros to go into thy church. That's what it says. Don't believe me? Well, you're probably right not to. So we'll just have a look at the outside. Ah, very nice. Right, where have we got next then? Before I go though, I just overheard a tour guide talking about this church, uh, this tower here. The one over there obviously says 1166. The one here says 2016, which I thought was a bit strange, but it turns out that tower actually got blown up during some of the fighting that took place during the breakup of the Yugoslavia. The Yugoslavia? Yugoslavia? We'll just call it Yugoslavia, it sounds better. That church was actually blow uh, that tower rather was blown up a little bit and they've rebuilt it as you can see there in 2016. So that's something I wouldn't have known. So that's the beauty of just kinda Standing near tour guides that you haven't paid for, you just get wee nuggets of information you wouldn't otherwise have. So this is what we've come to see, we've come to see the clock tower. Normally when you get a clock tower in an old place like this, it means it's like right in the heart of the city or in the town, wherever you are. 
thought they were a wee bit taller, if I'm honest, but I suppose it's does exactly what it says in the tin, it tells you the time, and that's exactly what you need for my clock, isn't it? So let's see what that wee strange thing is there though. Looks like a strange sort of chess piece from a distance, but we'll find out, I'm sure, unless it's not going to tell me. Okay, well that's not very useful, is it? It's been ripped off, but it's... Something about a lamp. Well, never mind. I'll tell you what, though. I think well, they've got up there, that's somebody's door. So I'll just go up the front couple of steps here, let's see what this is. That looks like an interesting wee cave thing in there, but not a cave, it's not in the middle of a mountain, but it's uh, like you can walk inside the walls if you go in there. Yeah, shut off for tourists, which is probably safe. So there's your clock tower of Budva. No, we're not in Budva. We're not in Budva. We're in Budva later on. We are in Kator. Forgetting where I am. I've been in so many places the last few months. I'm starting to get places mixed up. I suppose there's worse problems to have. So if that's the clock tower, then presumably where that wee guy's standing, this must be the sea gate. Let's go and have a wee look outside here. Wait a moment, she's sneezing, that's never a good sign in these times. Need to be careful. Travelling around so many different places, I don't want to catch coronavirus in one of them, I don't know what the hospitals are like. <laughs> solid architecture, solid artwork, got to love it. Walking out the sea gate. Yeah, that must be us. We're just back onto the street now, though. So we're going to go back in. This water fountain has the same origin as the mask you see above the heat, it's part of a different culture. In this case, these are the part of Africa culture. But in Qatar you'll find details from everywhere around the world, from Africa, Asia, America, South and Europe, and so on. And the reason for this is what we used to do during our history. I told you we used to trade, but we used to sail most of the time to do this trade. And we used to sail around the whole world. Okay, so I just... Uh... <laughs> Stopped and started pointing my camera at that tour guide guy. I don't know if he was too happy about it, but he knows more than me. So this is from I think he said 2008, because they won the water polo championships or something like that. Apparently, water polo is a big deal here. This is an old post box. So if somebody tells you to put your hand in there, they tell you, "Oh, make a wish." Don't bother. They're just trying to lie to you because it's a box standard post box. And this sort of stuff was brought back by sailors. They have a very, very rich sailing tradition here, as you can imagine, with the bay outside there. Um, I think you've got the Virgin Mary and Jesus Christ in the middle. I think in the right-hand side, so those two are in the centre, Jesus and Mary. I think on the right-hand side, he said St. Bernard or something like that. I'll need to listen back to it. I don't really know. Um, and there's a lot of African as well as Italian and multiple other influences there because the sailors would go to other places and it would bring back parts of the world that they'd seen with them. Um, especially art influences and the like. So yeah, that was quite interesting. Don't know if that's strictly legal what I just did there, but what's it gonna do? Ah, okay then. This place is more and more interesting. I like, always like to do that. If I don't know much about something, I'll just 
walk over to a random tour guide and start pointing my camera in their face. <laughs> don't know if that's a good thing to do, maybe I should stop doing that, but at the end of the day I'm learning information, so who cares, right? One of the things I was most interested to see here, um, I was looking at a wee map of the place before I came and it said uh, Napoleon's Theatre and I thought, alright, okay. I'm quite interested in Napoleon, um, I don't know why, maybe because I'm roughly the same height he was, maybe that's got something to do with it. Um, although, let me clarify that, I heard that the rumours about him being basically a midget, I've heard that was exaggerated by British propaganda. Um, I've heard he was actually around about 5 foot 6-ish, uh, which is the same height as me. Not very tall, but you know, he achieved a lot, so you don't need to be tall to achieve things. Remember that? At least that's what I keep telling myself. <laughs> Anything to make me feel better. So I heard that there's a Napoleon theatre, and I thought, right, well, if something says Napoleon on it, I tend to go and see it. Um, but not just that, though. Um, also, interesting side note. Uh, Napoleon died on St. Helena. Uh, St. Helena is actually where my grandmother comes from, so there's a bit of a history there. I always found the guy quite interesting as well. I don't agree with everything he stood for, obviously, but eh, he did some good, he did some bad. You know, he was a complex character at the end of the day, so... Let's go see if I can find this theatre, though. I wonder why it's there. I'm going to have to ask somebody, why do you have a Napoleon theatre? I mean, he might have taken the place over, I'm not too sure. I need to work that one out. Okay, so it turns out the Napoleon theatre is now a hotel. You can probably see the, it looks like a fleur de lis on the floor there. Won't go too much. The, the woman was nice enough to let me record, but this is where it used to look like. Okay. Perfect. Okay, we'll best get out of here then. She was about to take the piss too much. Spala. Okay, so that was the Napoleon Theatre that's now the Hotel Cataro. It's a boutique hotel. They are the Rotary Club meet, very fancy. I'm sure Napoleon would have approved. Maybe. Now we're on the hunt for a medieval bastion with scenic views. And you seem to have the scenic views bit tied up pretty well. That's, yeah, looks about right. Very scenic. Find this bastion. Alrighty, oh, where are you? Where are you? This might be out of here, is this it? Hmm, okay. If there's a guy you like me supposed to see over that wall, well, maybe that's the point. Maybe back in the day you weren't supposed to see over the wall to protect your head from bullets and arrows and stuff, you know. Okay. This is quite nice, I suppose. It's not what I was expecting, I'll be honest, but it's nice. Uh, they definitely weren't lying about the scenic view part. Can't fault them for that. This is very, very nice. I can see virtually the entire that entire part of the town from here, that's, that's very good. You know, in a sort of strange way, not as much at this angle, I'll put it back and I'll show you what I mean in a second, but from sort of that angle there, it sort of reminds me of like a, if Scotland was, if Scotland was in the Caribbean, you know, if Scotland was sunny with palm trees basically. Um, and we've got a lot of those kind of, we call them glens, but we've got those sort of rolling hills here. Ah, there you go, definitely got the scenic view we were hoping for. 
I don't know if you can make it out in the camera there, but up on top of that mountainside, it looks as if we've got some fortifications, definitely a big wall, and what well, looks like a church building. So uh, that might be my next stop, uh, or maybe not my next stop, but it will definitely be on the. It's definitely on the to-do list, so I need to get myself up there at some point. Hmm. Get myself over to that church there as well. Look at that, it's like the Great Wall of Qatar. Oh. <laughs> Not quite as famous as the Great Wall of China, but the Great Wall of Qatar does the job. Or maybe if it had done the job as well, it wouldn't have been taken over so many times, I don't know. But it looks good, so we'll go and find out at some point. So Kator is well known for having lots and lots of cats. I mentioned that earlier on, and so I thought to myself, well, is there a particular place where you might see lots of cats? Or is it just in the street? Turns out it's just in the street. But there is also a cat museum. I thought to myself, if you go to a town, you go to a city and there's a cat museum, it's, you know, it's a wee bit strange not to go there and have a look, so we're going to try and find it. Is this out here, maybe? Cat museum, cat museum. Oh no, they just, this is just a building, so we offer food to the cats in the city, that's fine. Huh? Oh, that's tragic. The cat museum is closed. Closed for reformed. Okay, I'm assuming they're refurbishing the place. That's gutting. That's devastating. Okay, we're gonna have a look at the map here. Oh, think of all the great times we would have had in the cat museum. But they've closed it. They've seen me come and they've thought, nope. Nope. I'm gonna ruin that guy's day. Or at least they would, but you know, there was other things to see, like this, for example. This interesting looking building here. What's that? The Church of St. Michael. Is that what it says? Church of St. Michael? I believe it does. Yep, it does. Church of St. Michael, Lapidarium, 9th, 9th to the 14th century. Okay. We don't go right inside, I think. Just have a quick look. One of my favourite things to do when you come to these sorts of places, special places that have, you know, sort of Ottoman influences and stuff like that, one of my favourite things to do is to go and find the old bazaar area. There's always really interesting stuff in the bazaar. I've heard, I've heard that there's a bazaar up here, so let's find it. If my research is correct again, or whether I'm going to be shut out with that cat museum. I'm still annoyed with that. <laughs> oh, watch me guy on your bike there. The guy wasn't watching where he was going, nearly ran into my shins. His mum wasn't watching. Okay. Have you say, big man? Have you say? What have we got here in the meantime? No, it's still our church. I think it might just be. Yeah. Oh, a few churches, right. Wait a wee minute then. Right, we're spoilt for choice here when it comes to our churches. So let's go to this one first. It looks a bit less busy. The bell tower, somebody's house right there. That'd be a great place to live. Oh, 
just a wee church again, that's fine. Why is it though? So... 1195 Serbian Orthodox St. Lucas Church Okay, St. Lucas Church, that's fine. Side. Look at the old tapestries here. Is that what you call that? A tapestry? I don't know if it is, but I'm going to use that word anyway. Very nice. Oh, I've broken one, two, three. I've broken four rules already. I've got shorts on, I've got glasses on. Any other rules? No, just three rules. I thought it was four. I don't have a hat on. I'm fine, just broke three rules. I'll be very quick here before somebody catches me. Over here you can buy your religious souvenirs. Let's see what they've got, what have they got for me? Nothing I'm going to buy, obviously, but you can buy your... That is, you have to be pictures of Jesus, I suppose. Buy yourself a purse, and buy yourself a bracelet. Okay, let's. You can light some candles, make a prayer, not that sort of thing, so I'm sorry, pal, when you go. In that wee boy's way, he's just trying to do his holy things, and I'm in his road. Right, let's go see this one. This one looks a bit bigger, but that was like a security. Is that a security guy at the door, or is that just a guy lingering? I'm not quite sure. This place looks as if it's 19... 1909. I've been stood in the same spot. I was literally stood in the same spot. I hadn't moved for a few seconds and the guy just walked directly into me. What an absolute fud. But it's okay. 1909 and this side here says 1902. So I'm not quite sure what that's all about. But we'll find out, I'm sure. Maybe we won't. The rules are the same out here. No shots, no glasses, no phones, so let's be careful. Let's just stand at the entrance. We're going to go and we're not going to offend anyone. Okay, I'm just going to stand here. The guy in red is definitely some sort of security or staff detail, so we won't, won't antagonise anybody. That's very impressive artwork in this place. I'm just thinking about that there. I said tapestry in the other place. I think tapestry is when you you sew it into a material. If you go to the Vatican, there's an entire room full of tapestries, so it's not that. But I maybe need to look up that word. I actually don't remember what it means, but never mind. We're here to see the art, not listen to me being illiterate. Ah, very nice. But like I say, I don't think I can go any further with my glasses and my shorts and my phone. So, we'll say thank you and we'll leave. So, we're just walking around, see what else we could see. And I've saw this. Saw this interesting looking doorway. Well, that maybe sound quite boring to some people, but if you're interested in this sort of thing, carefully crafted doorways are quite an interesting place. So I've got Jesus, I'm a ah, it's got to be Jesus, right? Yeah. So they've got a rich seafaring tradition here, so there's a bit of that. Somebody rumble around this corner. Sorry about that, some guy was walking past with a bunch of bins, couldn't hear myself think, especially when you're carrying the bins on this. Oh, it looks like we've got an entire square full of cats, well that sort of makes up for the museum a little bit. 
What have we got here? Letna Pozornica, whatever that means. Let's look at the cats here. An interesting looking fountain. Does it work though? That's the question. Is it just for show? Oh, it does. Oh, hey, there you go. Good. All right. What? Got what? Oh, you want petted? Oh, okay. Oh, you're friendly, aren't you? Some of your pals are. Some of your pals just look scared. Oh, it's a kitten, look. Oh, don't worry, you're a bit more scared, aren't you? That's fine, okay, fair enough, I understand. I don't know, you're scared, you don't know what's, you know what's happening. Not about you, though, oh, you're friendly. You're hoping I've got food for you, though, haven't you? As soon as you realise I've nothing for you, you're just going to leave. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe that's why they put that there. So that you can always get a message and then say, what does that say? Something, something, something that I can't read 2007. Okay, well, that's informative. That's good. No? Nah, yeah. I try and touch you, you're gonna run away, you're gonna get scared. No, you're fine. Oh, you're fine. Here you go. Oh, you went back again, do you? Maybe that's why they put the tap there, so when you've finished touching the cat, you can wash your hands, that'd be good. So you've got the guy here who's a. Uh, You know, it's like Ace Ventura, Dr. Doolittle, this guy. Oh my gosh, Dad, look how many I think I might be a good idea to wash my hands after that, because I'm sure they're perfectly clean, but then at the same time, possibly not. No, no, continue. I'm just watching. Don't let me disturb you. Oh, what have you spotted? Oh, you went into hunt mode there. What is it? What have you spotted? What have you all spotted? What is going on there? What have they spied? What? Oh, that one's running. That one's running. That's... See that the way that cat was just cleaning itself, calm as you like, and then went into full blown hunt mode. That was caught that perfectly on camera as well. What's wrong with you? Are you raging about something now? No, back to cleaning. You're not angry about nothing, are you? Fair enough, right? I better be on my way. I've loads of things to see today. told there's an interesting and old bridge out here so we'll see if that's true I wasn't given much information about the bridge but I heard it was interesting so we'll hopefully the water's nice and blue the way it is and oh we might be trapped in there that's it's not good is it blue no not really ah oh, it's not that kind of water it's just like it's like a moat sort of thing with a it's like a moat type thing with a river also used to buildings there. Well, you can't fault the scenery. 
Follow your lead. And of course there's a cat. Where else would it be? Hello there. Good day to you, sir. So the security dame. Oh, they must be hosting some shows or events up there. That would be really, really nice actually if you've managed to catch something up there. Water looks a lot deeper than you would think, so I need to be careful I don't drop my camera in it. Right, so this is like an old bridge. See if there's a wee information plaque, maybe something that tells me how old. Tell you what though, that looks like a really old Yugoslavian era building up there. See if you're going to tell me what's going on here, or are you just going to make me guess? Okay, it's a bit strange what I stand on. Ah! I don't really know what the purpose of this is, but I guess it's a good view. Let's see if we can see closer into that building over the top there. Looks like the kind of place, something you'd find in the movie Hostel, doesn't it? So I think we'll be keeping our distance from that. Oh, cat friends coming over to us, but we can't be distracted. We have to climb all the way up there. So, best get moving. So before we go up that massive, massive hillside, or mountain said I don't really know what it is, decided to stop and get properly watered first because well why not right? The pint was about 350 uh, which isn't bad, isn't bad. Her cola cost 250 so not bad at all especially in a tourist trap area. It's it's weird this place because it's part of it's a tourist trap like if you go to the restaurants and stuff it's all touristy but there's lots of tourists here obviously but there's lots of really authentic things to see, lots of churches and stuff like that, lots of history. Um, quite, a, quite an interesting place and obviously that scenery I showed you earlier on, you can't really beat that. But, I'm going to drink the rest of this and then we're going to make our way up that hill. And hopefully we manage it without breaking any bones. So, <laughs> cheers. So, feeding for... A quick watering, and now we need to tackle this. I hope that's not a rain cloud, that's all I'm saying, or at least if it is, I hope it's moving away from us, but... Up we go. So, according to our wee trusty city guide map here, this is the way you start climbing to the fortress. But just before I do, this is quite interesting. This was this, this was uh, this was described as a palace entrance of some sort. I don't quite know what it is. I'll need to find that out maybe. But here we go. We try and navigate this thing. It's got to be steep. But we're gonna manage. Right. Ooh, right, it's getting very, very uneven. We haven't even started yet. Oh, there's a dog. Oh, yeah, pal. Oh, no interest, fair enough. Oh, this is going to be tough. I can already feel it. It's another duck. Yeah, you Do you need to pay to get in here, I wonder? That would be disappointing. It's me doing all the hard work at the end of the day. Hello. You need a ticket. Oh, you need a ticket? Yeah. 
How much are the tickets? Eight euros a ticket. Per person? Can you pay with card or? Yes. Um, yeah, we need to go to the cash machine then. Need to make an executive decision here. Okay, so I didn't realise you had to pay like eight euros to go hiking up a mountain. So, you know what? Just on sheer principle, I'm not going to do it. Nope. I don't quite agree with that. I don't agree that I should need to... Oops, sorry. I don't agree that I should need to pay them money so that I can do all the hard work. If they, if they want to give me a stair lift up to the place, then okay, that's different, but... I'm not paying... But there's two of us, I'm not paying 16 euros just to get... Just have to, to work hard to get up a hill. No chance. Nope, I've lost two customers there. That was very, very silly of them. Okay, cat's still sleeping. He's not caring. But yeah, you know what? I'm going to go. And I'm going to find something else to do. Unless I kill myself trying to get down this. Oh, there's wee stairs, but no. no okay, I will use these stairs because that's very, very difficult to get down. But no, there you go. They want eight euros. To go walking up a mountain. Rip off. No doubt it. They can go and chase themselves. It isn't even that. They said to me, uh, cash only. <laughs> I, okay, if you're going to inconvenience me that much, the least you can do is let me pay my card. But nope. No doubt it. So, we're going to go and find somewhere else to sit. I went and bought myself a couple of cans of beer from that shop. I was planning to go to the mountain top and drink them and eat some sandwiches and whatnot, but no, nah, no doing it. Not a chance. In case you're wondering as well why I mentioned the bazaar earlier on and then just didn't mention the bazaar again, turns out it wasn't very good. Uh, it was just like a, a handful of shops and then all of a sudden we were right to the churches, so yeah. So the bazaar in Kotor is not very not very exciting to be honest. There's far better ones in Sarajevo, far better ones in Mostar. Um, and obviously I'm not paying 16 quid to get up that fort. <laughs> just, not, just not gonna do it, point blank not gonna do it. So now I'm away to try and find this seafront fortress type thing that I saw. Um, I think it was built by the Venetians, which is good enough for me. And if they don't think they can charge you money to go over there. If they do, they'll be getting told to bolt, of course. But, all right, let's go and find this other one. Whilst we're on our way walking, let's try and find somewhere to eat these sandwiches. I think I've just spotted another wee football stadium. Oh, that's a very weird one. Is it a football stadium? I don't know what that is. Does that count? I think it counts. That looks... It's a very strange sort of stadium, but it's a stadium. Is it? That's like a concrete... Concrete football stadium, we'll call it that. Ah, this counts. Got your goals there. Got your other set of goals there, that's good enough. Got your box. You've got your stand where your fans can... I don't know, there's only one stand though, there's not two, so I'm presuming there's not many away fans come to this. Probably just a place you play football with your pals or something, but, you know. I am counting this, this is a, another successful football stadium find I'm thinking, and another cracking view whilst you're playing. Unfortunately I can't read any of the graffiti, graffiti is always fun. But there you go, you've got, your, you've got your goals there, you've got a wee castle in the backdrop, you've got a stand for the madness, church. Yeah, I'm counting that. That's another football stadium in Qatar. It's good enough for me. It looked like there was a 
But you can actually go inside this here though, I don't know whether it's I'm allowed to go in, but we'll find out. If somebody tells me to go away, we'll soon find out. Doing his exercises, I try not to disturb him too much. Oh, right, this has seen better days, hasn't it? I'll be honest, I've been to worse stadiums <laughs> that are actually still in operation. Good time with some beers. Oh, there's a, is that a light or is it just... No, it's just the daylight coming in. I don't really want to go in here, but I'm here now, so I might as well. Oh, it's absolutely... That's the old bathroom, and I'm sure I don't need to tell you, it's absolutely stinking of piss. Absolutely reeking. So we're not going to go too far in there because, you know... I can imagine the sort of respiratory illnesses I might get. I wonder when this was in operation then. It must have been a good while ago. It's got Yugoslavian period written all over it. Is that the back of an old computer? Is that what that is? Is that what that is? Oh, I remember those. Remember when computers and TVs used to be like big boxes? You just have to try and carry them up the stairs and stuff. Okay, I don't think anybody was ever in that plant, but right, it's probably best we get out of here, not that way, that's blocked. Well, there you go, another wee Yugoslavian football stadium. Can't go wrong with a bit of that, can you? Oh, I can breathe again. Oh, that place was rancid. Absolutely rancid, but fascinating nonetheless. Hey, let's get back here and try and find somewhere to actually eat these sandwiches. Ah, beautiful scenery. Good place to sit and have a have a munch and a beer. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully there's no laws here about drinking outside. I've seen lots of people do it, so I can't imagine why there would be, but you never know. Yeah, there we go then. Is that an obelisk? If, if you know any better than I do, please let me know. If you know what the distinction between a monument and an obelisk is, that would be good. I should, probably should know this stuff. I teach English, believe it or not. Right, well that looks like a... I don't know what they're doing there. I don't know what the purpose of this particular piece of art is. What have we got here? Ah, there we go. So, Palim za Slobodu. <laughs> I've butchered that language there. That's shocking. 1941 to 1945. I mean, you've got to assume that's a World War II memorial. Um. I just hope they were on our side. I think they were. <laughs> I think the, the partisans definitely were on our side. Some of the, some of the others weren't. But I can't imagine you would have built a, a monument to fascists in this day and age. And it looks like a relatively new monument. So I know there was a history here of uh, communist rule, also a history of fascist rule um, to a certain extent. But I think generally speaking, the people fought against that stuff. It's Nobody likes a Nazi, right? Right, there you go. So, that looks to be what I've found. Don't, don't know if I can actually find this particular... Uh, this particular Venetian sea fort thing I was looking for. Maybe I've already passed it about 10 times, I just haven't realised. So I'm going to... Maybe finish up here. 
just by again, just like the views, like the scenery speak for themselves. They say it far better than I ever could. Before I do though, oh, okay, heavy metal. I'm inclined to agree. I'm inclined to agree. So we've got the monument or obelisk. Again, let me know. I've got the mountains. We've got heavy metal. I've got some sandwiches and beers in my bag. And I'm going to finish up here just by showing you the scenery. Let you take it in for yourself. I hope that guy doesn't fall in the water because that may be deep. Yeah, that'll do. He's fine. He's a professional. Went and got myself some Herman Miller. It costs 49 cents. So, I'm either going to have a very good time or a very bad time. Morning, Herman son. Let's see what we got. Oh, 